Despite being battered and bruised, Pico and Bia find solace in one another's company. While healing, a treacherous month flies by, which they spend tending to the wounds. Soon, the boys feel well and brave enough to face the streets once again. Signs of the holiday season litter the scene, with snowflakes dancing in the air, golden bells ringing, and children laughing. A crowd of strangers whisper to one another in excitement, waiting beside a sign that reads, Annual Holiday Fairest Meet and Greet. The two boys enjoy the winter season with smiles distracted by one another's company. I can't believe you're actually making me wear this. Why, you look adorable. I know, that's the problem. Come on, Tuffy, this is our first time out in a month. At least try to enjoy it. There they are! Fuck. A crowd? Oh no. What day is it? The 17th. Why? Our son. That's why. Just in time for the holidays. We're beginning to fear the worst. How about we celebrate sport? You know, if you just did as you were told, you wouldn't need to wear that damn sweatshirt all the time. You'd have nothing to hide. <coughs> you could actually call yourself a man. Mm -hmm. Now be a good son and listen to your parents this instant. Don't call me your son! You tried to make me a mindless slave! Just like Gia's parents did to her. Shut it. <laughs> no. Parents are supposed to protect and care their, about their children. You took away my dreams, my happiness, my trust in others, <clears throat> my childhood. For so long I thought I was... What? Was, for so long I thought that was love. Truly was. But in reality, you were never my parents, and never will be. <laughs> Pico, hit it! You got it, babe.
<laughs> Pico? You! Say something for once, damn it! You know, I never really understood what you were, but I know very well who you are. <coughs> well, who you're supposed to be. Anyways, things are different now. You don't scare me anymore. They don't scare me anymore. I'm done letting you, you or anyone can take control of my life. This ends now. Uh, uh. Are you okay, Baby Blue? <coughs> it's over. It's finally over. It's a long way from being over, sweetheart. But I think I get what you mean. Where did they... I don't even want to know. Um... Anyways... How about we grab some hot chocolate and find a place to rest for the night? Sounds like a plan. <laughs>